Good evening And what a wonderful, wonderful evening it is We're into June and There's been a lovely spell of weather and I just couldn't help myself But I tell you, I'm really quite excited about this camp because I'll tell you why Why I'm excited about this It's not only because the weather's absolutely glorious But I've got Lewis, you might be able to see him just on the side of the picture there but Yeah, it's going to be Lewis's first hill camp And uh, yeah, really looking forward to it So let's see I'm hoping to go up here to your left and try and find a pitch up there. There's a couple of lochins, so we're near some water. That's the plan. Um, I've been up this way before, and I'm hoping there's enough space for two camps, eh, two camps, two tents. But we'll see. Worst case scenario is we have to snuggle in together. <laughs> I'm sure, he's not wanting that, right? Shall we head on? So on we went, and it really was a, a crack in the evening, and we were headed up towards the ridge on the horizon there exactly and I was right. really looking for a spot where we could get both the tents quite close together Now we're a wee bit further up and there's a spot here which is quite nice there's quite a lot of flat areas you could probably open a campsite here <laughs> there's that many flat bits but it's quite exposed to the wind there's a, a keen breeze shall we say nothing that we, we couldn't come to a pitch which wouldn't cause the tents any issues but I'm going to go in a wee bit further maybe up the hill a wee bit and drop over and just see if we can get out of the breeze a wee bit um, and we'll see. So uh, we've got a bit of cloud down there. That's maybe a good sign because I know that there was an inversion here um, through the webcams. I was looking at the webcams this morning. So, right, let's go on a bit and see if we can get uh, somewhere to pitch a bit further on. Right, we've come on a wee bit further, and uh, I think I'm going to try and pitch around a bit here somewhere. The, the, we've got a wee bit of shelter from a little embankment over there. There's no really flat pitches. In fact, the best bits are on the path, and we could probably get away with pitching on the path because we're about 8 o'clock now and we'll be away at 5 o'clock tomorrow morning so it's unlikely we'll be in the way of anyone but we'll try and get them off maybe on this glassy bit and there's a lovely view to the uh, to the south so let's get this done get the tents up and then relax so it's place to work now right I wasn't happy with this spot so there's a bit a bit further on not far no five minutes of that up here so we'll head up there and hopefully that will be a, a nicer spot it's not quite a shelter but there's a couple of flat areas beside each other which means we could get the tents up and close to one another so let's bring you back up there right this is the spot here I don't know if you can make it in the camera but it's enough for a couple of tents two flat spots and the views <laughs> well we'll come back once we've got the tents up we'll, uh, we'll show you the views but we need to get cracked on and get his tents up so right got the tents up as you can see the two scarp ones and just getting the uh, sleeping system ready my son's behind the camera he doesn't want to be on it which is fair enough um, let's just hope it's a, a nice night it's a wee bit of a breeze but that's quite good because it's keeping any images at bay and the views we've got, I don't know if you can make out over my shoulder this, la this band of clouds moving up which might engulf us but I kind of hope it does because I think in the morning it might drop we might wake up to something special or we could just enjoy the sunshine now and that'll be the end of it but yeah, for now we're going to get the sleeping system set up I'm giving my son my winter <laughs> system which is the the big thick X-bed mat which I use in the winter will be comfier for him and we'll give him my winter sleeping bag uh, it might be quite cold tonight with the clear skies and I'll just use the summer system which is which is fine and then we're going to sit and have some healthy tea Lewis is having some sausage rolls I'm having some scotch eggs and uh, no whiskey tonight um, and I'll maybe run through why and where we are and why I've chosen this for his first wild camp and we'll we'll see come the morning whether he enjoys it but yeah for now I need to get my sleeping mat blown up and set up in my sleeping bag into the tent so let's do that yeah. <laughs> well look down there look at that cloud catching the light see it's almost like a strange it's like a like a, a rainbow colour mm -hmm. that's bizarre that's getting closer and closer, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, this is just wonderful. Just spent the evening sitting on the, the grass. It's kind of mossy grass here, but because it's been dry, 
for so many days, it's, I'm not getting a wet bum. <laughs> I've just been sitting looking at the, the cloud come in and wisping around the quarry and as it hits the sun, it's just evaporating. So it's not moved in yet, but I think as soon as that sun goes down in the next half an hour, this fog might just move in, but it's absolutely blo it's, it's, it's beautiful. We're just sitting above it at the moment. So yeah, just been taking, taking photographs and chilling. We went to get some water earlier on. And uh, yeah, it's just nice relaxing camp and we've come to an area which isn't too too far from home and the hills that we're in, it's the Glen Shee Hills, we've parked quite high at the, uh, the ski centre and that just gives us an easy, if, if anything was to go wrong, if for instance, I don't know, my son didn't enjoy it or I don't know, it, it, it's an easy out, we're only maybe 40 minutes away from the car. Uh, it's not too much of a trek going back downhill. It took us a bit longer to come in, but we're in the mountains. We've got beautiful views to the north. I can see the Cairngorms. We've got these views to the south. And although the ski development's probably half a kilometre that way, we're not really seeing it. And these, I think these are underestimated hills. You know, I, I think I even underestimated them for many years. And over the last three or four years, I've come back to, to enjoying it. Anyway, I think my son's enjoying it. And are you enjoying it, Lou? That's a yes. <laughs> He's just sitting chilling, looking at the view from his tent, and uh, yeah, it's just nice and relaxing. So that's uh, that's the plan. We're not going to do too too much more. I'll maybe report back just before, just as the sun goes down. But for now, I'm just going to chill in my tent and enjoy this inversion behind me. I sat in the tent for quite some time, just enjoying the views, and then at sunset I decided to head a wee bit further over to a hill called Karnasak, which sits at about 920 metres, just for a view south, because it was looking lovely. So I came for a wee walk, because I could see that the inversion level was dropping, I thought I'll come over to the this peak here, it's a bit higher, I think it's about 50 metres higher, we're camped at about 870 metres, and this is about 920 I tell you, I'm glad that I did, because look at this view, right across the cloud layer and the inversion, isn't that just wonderful? Look at that, beautiful, it's a bit windy, so I do apologise, do apologise for any wind noise, but that's beautiful. So I'm going to sit here, sun's literally just dipped below the horizon, <laughs> over there, so I'll sit here and then I'll head back to the tent. Make sure Lewis is all right and not asleep. But look at that. Stunning, isn't it? Stunning. After watching the clouds rolling about below me, I headed up to the high point and just watched the sunset behind the high Cairngorms to the north. It was an absolutely glorious night. Oh dear. Good morning. Oh, as you can see, the clouds in. It's just about sunrise time. It's 4:30. Slept well. This is a bit disappointing. <laughs> no inversion this morning, so it's not warm. I'll tell you that much. So I'm going to start breaking the tent down. Wake up, Lewis. And uh, I'll report back once the tents are down. Hopefully the sun comes up, might to uh, clear some of those clouds. But yeah, let's get the tent away just now. <laughs> so I eventually woke my son up, and we both started to put the tents away. And I tried to impart some words of wisdom down Take to them him. Take and we'll leave the the two in. That's grand. Let's bring these over, and we'll pop these down beside the other pegs. See when you're leaving your backpack on the ground as well, maybe. Turn it down so the outside of it's on the wet grass, just so then your back won't get back. As I said. It's important to keep the at least some pegs in so the tent doesn't blow away. 
And any bags, make sure you've got them securely down and they'll blow away. I've had that before. Right, you want to shorten that? <coughs> so what we do is give it a wee shake because there's a wee bit of water on it. When I get home, I'll be drying these out. If you don't dry them out, it's even though it's not been raining, see the, yeah. the vapour. If you don't... Yeah, I won't have my glasses, Steam in here, condensation. So I go home and I put these out to dry because if you don't, if you just put them away wet, they'll just... Mold will start to form and it's not good for the camera. Out of the camera, not good for the tent. Right, so just explaining to Lewis to leave no trace, so we've yeah, I've got everything packed away now, tents are away, just a wee bit of dry grass and flattened moss where we were pitched up. It's a real shame that the, the clouds lifted, but at least we got that inversion uh, last night, so uh, Lewis is just behind the camera. Did you enjoy that? Even the early start? <laughs> it's like ten past five now, so we've been up since, uh, well it's been about an hour. I think I woke up actually at about 3.50. You never know, on the way back we've got about 40 minute walk back to the car now. This cloud may lower. If it does and we get some views, I'll bring you back, but yeah, I don't think it will. So I think I'll end the video here. A bit of a shorter one today, but hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you on the next adventure. Right, let's get this part today. Right, let's go.